Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my jewelry armoire um, and jewelry collection all in one. Uh, I have a lot and it's still growing. I love jewelry. I always love jewelry. I love big and little pieces, clunky, small, thin. So we might as well get to it instead of wasting our time chatting. My bad lighting, it's hard to see, but there's like 14 or 15 ring slots here. And the top row is like real gold and silver. Then it just kind of goes as it is. Um, a lot of this is from eBay. I can just point it out. Um, that, 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 that. Or is that? Yeah, that is. Um, that and not that. <laughs> that is all from eBay. Oh, and that there. <laughs> And then over here is my stud earrings, and there's like little hearts. Those are from eBay. Those are from Sirens. Those are it's from a local store. And then I love this. This is my newest necklace, and this is from The Gap, I do believe. And then over here is just some more like rings that were just way too big to fit in there. Oh, by the way, I've showed this before, but this is my favorite ring. This right here is a crab starfish and seashell, and that is... um. A seahorse? That's not a seahorse. That's a, 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 help me out, a um, sea starfish. That is a starfish. Those are my two favorite summer rings. This, I love this. Oh, that was my favorite summer ring too this summer. So these two rings here, this one is a red heart ring and it's 10 karat gold. And then this one, I love this one. And I'm getting all shaky because I'm getting excited. Um, this one's a 14 karat gold ring with obviously purple. It looks like the Princess Diana's ring. But I bought this one in Romania and my mom, well my mom got me for Christmas. $200. That's not bad for a 14 karat gold ring. I bought that three years ago now and I love it. But I always get asked, is that real? Like as in, it's not real, but I'm going to ask anyways. Yeah, it's real. B words. <laughs> and then in this is all my favorite jewelry that's broken that I one day plan to fix, mind you. Now we'll go into the drawers. Now... Some of them are empty because I, like, I literally just got this not long ago. And some are completely full, like this one. But these are just some earrings. These ones... Oh, most of these earrings have like the backs that you can't hang them on. So that's why they're there. But these ones are normal, but I love them. Those are my favorite, but I don't know where one of them is right now. Um, my Selena Gomez earrings. These ones are the, the prettiest blue. I love them. The camera won't show them being blue. I don't know, but I love these earrings. I tend to wear them almost every New Year's, I swear. And then I got these ones, but this one is fine, but then on the other one, this is broken, and I don't know how to glue jewelry to metal. <laughs> I don't know, but I want to fix it, because I really like them. By the way, if you are wondering, I bought this jewelry armoire at Liquidation World. It was kind of expensive, but it was two twenty nine dollars or something, plus tax, and tax here is 15%, so it's like two sixty five. I'm still paying it off. <laughs> um, these are hoop earrings, but they do have a little hook instead of the clamp, so those are pretty cool like that. Back here, I mean, I could take it out further. Oh, I guess I can't. Um, that's just some, like, gold pieces. I have, like, crosses, a silver cross from my best friend Lydia. That's from my brother in Romania. That's from my godmother, and that's from my uncle. Then here are just some earrings. I don't wear, like, I don't wear those ones too often, and I want to. There's my heart ones. My little glittery teardrop ones. I love these. I have a pair in there that are broken. And then my best friend bought me this chain. And I put the, the heart on it, like, from Eclipse, from Twilight. Yeah, I'm that cool. <laughs> so this becomes, like, a little bit of a bigger drawer. So I put all my bracelets in there. Here are ones that I find, like, summery and beachy. They're, like, handmade almost. Well, some of them. They're just really cute. And I have this one that... I broke in the back, like I can't tie it anymore. This is my glittery watch, my glittery Hello Kitty bow, and my little bracelets. This one's real Swarovski, but you wouldn't know it because it doesn't say. Here is another bracelet. I just got this one this summer. I love it. My Hello Kitty watch that's not working right now, and these are <laughs> bra straps from Lucenza. And then just some more bracelets in there. This one is just kind of random, just some random beachy necklaces, um, colored contacts that I don't wear too much, a Juicy Couture box, a beachy necklace, and then a little cupcake necklace. This one's boring too, just huge bracelets. Um, nothing's really in there, just a little knickknack. I love this, I got this last year for, or the year before for Christmas. 
And this is totally nothing to do with jewelry, but um, I have some lotions in there. This thing was jam-packed and I had them all laying around my room. They were just the mini ones, but I gave them to my best friend because I really don't need that many lotions because I don't wear them too much. And then here in the drawers is my cancel collection. Most of them are from Bath and Body Works. Uh, it was more full until I took all the candles out to burn them. But yeah, I love candles and I decided I'm going to stop buying candles because I can just buy plug-in warmers. Or if that's what they're called, I don't know. But it's the scent ones, the scent oil ones. So this is one of the compartments where your necklaces go. And you can see here I have a few different ones. Now before I start, before I film this video, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but see those staples? And see how this, if I push that up, it moves. That's because this whole thing was down to here. It doesn't matter how much money you spent on a jewel for your armoire, they're still made of freaking crap. So, you know what? Your best bet's not to buy one. <laughs> but to start off, um, I have this vintage type necklace. And this pink one that I got at Le Chateau a long time ago. And this is from Forever 21. That is just, oops. That's just a cute little heart necklace my mom got in the yard sale. Both these necklaces are quite similar, but they are both from Aldo. One just has like a long little middle piece. Oh, there it is. And then three or five or something. My all-time favorite Hello Kitty necklace. This is from the Dominican, and it is adjustable, but this tends to fall down. This is from a store in New York my mom got it from. I don't know the name, but I like this. And then my friends in... Well, my friends here bought this in Toronto. I really like it. That's when pe like Peacock Feathers really first started to make a comeback. This necklace compartment's a little more cluttered. But you can see it there. There's my disco ball, my little feather one, a leaf. It says apple bottoms on there. I'm so gangsta. Um, I got that one at Costa Blanca. Costa Blanca. Uh, I bought this. I'm not really a huge fan of it. But I do like this one. This one is from eBay. And it is a little lollipop. And it has a cute bow on it. And then this is a strawberry one. And I like this. I don't wear it too often, but I like it. That is from Le Chateau. And here is my House of Harlow necklace that is definitely fake from eBay. If you guys like this video, I could have went into depth and detail about every little piece of jewelry, but I didn't. So if you have any questions or of... Like, where'd you get that? I could probably answer that. Probably. I most likely will. I'm excited for Christmas. Okay, totally do. Bye!